Hey, welcome to another episode of beersandbars.com. We're here in Vegas still, and I don't know if you can see it right there. You can see the bottom of the Eiffel Tower. So we're here just kicking back a couple days right before Thanksgiving. Uh, everything seems pretty chill. It's not too crowded here in Las Vegas, though. So. Well, I got time. It's in the morning. Well, not too much. Let's see what time is it. Okay, it's 9.23 in the morning. Decided to do a couple beer reviews and I wanted to talk about another uh, chalada. And you know, they keep coming out with all these different uh, combinations of the different beers uh, with the different chaladas. So I'll keep trying it if you guys keep watching. So I appreciate uh, your support. Picked up this Bud Light chalada and it's Limon y Chile. Picked this up at Lee's Liquor. Uh, up the strip there for $2.99. It says here, Hecho con jugo de limón, cerveza light premium con sabores naturales. So that's cool. And this one is 4.2 alcohol per volume. And you know, if you're drinking this, I'm not, I won't read the, the carbs and the stuff like that because it's this is not one of those beers where you concern yourself with that. All right. So, I usually don't drink Bud Light, but uh, this was a chilada I hadn't seen with limon and chile, so I wanted to give it a try and see how it tastes. Shout out to UNLV. When I'm in Vegas, I always like to throw in my Running Rebel gear. Uh, just love them from the Stacy Ogman, Larry Johnson days. Love that basketball team. Love watching them beat Duke. So, you know, Running Rebel. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and jump into my untapped. If you haven't been on untapped, follow me on uh, Beers and Bars. I'm there. All right. All right, look at this sucker. A lot of carbonation. It's clear though. The head dissipated real quickly. Let's see what we got here. Light aroma of the limon, but other than that, barely smell the typical notes of the Bud Light. Usually, uh, if you're drinking Bud Light by itself, you could really smell the Bud Light aroma, but not this time. It's it's very faint. So hopefully, it's tasteful. Let's go take a look. It's all right. It's all right. Uh, you could definitely taste the limon on you. Uh, the if you watch, I uploaded another one. It was uh, Modelo Chalada, uh, Piña Picante, and the picante part of it was more uh, more present. You could taste it. I, I actually thought that it maybe had a little bit of the chili powder in there because you felt like it this one it's less it feels like uh it's, nothing's overpowering you definitely taste the limon you definitely taste a hint of the chile but it's not right in your face it's faint in the background i mean it's it's all right uh i would have loved a little more flavor you know i guess just a little more because right now it's it's so faint that it's 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 not noticeable enough to be enjoyable and I didn't want like to be really the more a lot of chili but uh, I expect a little more flavor everything's real passive uh, but I mean I would definitely maybe throw this in one of those uh, Michelada cups Maybe pick that up, or if you have some tahini on you, uh, maybe would add uh, some tahini to it, just to give it a little more oomph. Uh, but by itself, uh, it's all right. But 
I didn't I didn't find it very uh very well it's, I don't I don't like to be you know bad news bear but it wasn't terrible but it wasn't it wasn't good either so uh, I don't know maybe you try it out maybe uh, you let me know how you feel about it but um, I wasn't really uh, um, I was underwhelmed I guess because I wasn't overwhelmed um, but maybe you try it out maybe you like it but it's definitely I would definitely maybe add it to a michelada or something like that it would be good that way uh, but for walking around Las Vegas it does its part so you know try it you let me know what you think and uh get back at me all right guys well if you haven't done so already have a great beer maybe pass on this one and have another great beer but hey you know what they always ask me they go hey you've drank you know so much so much beers what's your favorite beer and i always tell them that my favorite beer is my next beer so i'm sure of it my next beer will be my favorite all right, guys, we'll be safe out there. Drink safely, drive safely. Happy Thanksgiving. Don't do both at the same time. And uh, thank you. Cheers.